Hi guys, Dane here, and today, despite the fact that I'm wearing a t-shirt that hints the winter is coming, spring has in fact sprung. In fact, it's very nearly summer. That's how behind I am on my tags. I am doing the spring has sprung tag. I was tagged by cats and camera. I have no idea who did this originally. Sorry, I didn't note that down. There are 10 questions. We're going to go through them. So let's get started. Dane reads. Question one, flowers. All the flowers we remember are blooming again. Pick a book that's a fresh take on a retelling. Uh, well, it's got to be, um, I, I mean, I guess it's not really fresh now, but Northern Lights by Philip, Ful Philip Fullman. Philip Pullman. Um, the first book in the His Dark Materials trilogy. Uh, that entire trilogy, actually, it's like a retelling of Paradise Lost, but it's also my favourite trilogy. I have an Eoric Bernison tattoo, an armoured bear on my arm. He's looking a bit red because of uh, sunburn. In fact, look at that. Oh, my God. Oh, I got a tan. <laughs> Wow, I've got to take a photo of that. It's not as noticeable on, on anything else, but here in front of the lights, wow. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I got a tan, nice, I'll take that. How's my neck looking? Yeah, all right, very nice. Okay, question number two. Cadbury Mini Eggs, obviously you're the superior springtime candy of choice. Pick a book that you consider to be a sweet treat. Well, I can't eat mini eggs. Um, so I wouldn't say they are superior, they're not vegan friendly. A book I consider to be a sweet treat. Hmm. I don't know, like, any Isaac Asimov short story collection, maybe iRobot. Um, it's not particularly sweet, but it is a treat. Question three, allergies. Seasonal allergies often make your eyes water. Pick a book that made you cry. Yeah, uh, I have pretty bad hay fever. The only problem with this question, only one book has ever made me cry, and that was The Amber Spyglass, the third book in the His Dark Materials trilogy. So I guess this is just the His Dark Materials trilogy tag. And I think it only made me cry because I was so young at the time. Um, and then no book has ever broken my heart like that since. And I think that's also why I don't like romance in books. Question number four, spring cleaning. Out with the old and in with the new. Pick a book to unhaul. We'll go with uh, The Alchemist by Paolo Coelho. Um, really didn't like that book. But also, funny story, my friend Neil, when he read it, he hated it so much that when he finished, he literally just threw it out of his window. Uh, that was also my answer on it. It was a Facebook thing of like, you go home with a date and uh, you find she tells you her favorite book and you immediately leave. What's the book? And that was my answer to that because presumably that means that she has unrealistic expectations when it comes to love because there's not one but two moments of insta love in that book and it's only about this thick. Question number five, spring break, it's the perfect time for an adventure. Pick a book involving a road trip. On the Road by Jack Kerouac, that seems like the obvious one. Question number six, mating time. It's that time of year in the animal kingdom to make some babies. Pick a book with some smutty delights. I will go for uh, Amsterdam Thoughts by Sylvia Hadfield. So this is an erotica novel, but better yet, it's a customised erotica novel um, where like you put your own names in it, so it was really weird. Uh, I put one of my friend's names in it, who I've never had sex with, just to clarify. Um, we did kiss when we were like 15, but it was more of a jokey thing. So anyway, I put her name in it and a few others. So I'm going around like banging all my mates, it was really weird. Question number seven, rainbows. I just feel like spring is made of freaking rainbows. Pick a book featuring an LGBTQ plus character in brackets, Zzz. Okay. Um, I'm trying to think of what the most recent one that I would have read that felt featured an LGBT. Oh, the one I'm reading now, uh, Others by James Herbert. Um, there's a guy in that who's gay, but unfortunately he does get murdered. It's a bit of that old trope of like, kill the gays. I mean, it's also set in Brighton, so there's a fair bit of LGBTQIA representation in it. And the main character is also like physically deformed as well. Question number eight, Spring Awakening. This is one of my all time favorite musicals, even though it's filled with completely dysfunctional characters. Pick a book that's also filled with completely dysfunctional characters. I have never heard of the book Spring Awakening. A uh, book that's filled with dysfunctional characters. The thing that comes to mind straight away is Formerly by Yours Truly by Dane Cobain. Uh, and it's a novel about a social networking site and it's just they're all dysfunctional man and they're like a dysfunctional family almost even though they're obviously not related question nine in like a lion out like a lamb pick a book series that didn't get better as it progressed quite a few of them to be honest um what what springs to mind first uh, the, uh, the mortal instrument series it started out uh, and continued pretty yeah uh, Question number 10, fun in the sun, tag some friends. All right, so we're gonna do me old standby. Oh shit, sorry, I just got a notification by Instagram and clicked on it by accident. So we're going to my YouTube channel and I'm gonna pick some people who have tagged me. Not tagged me, who've commented on my videos. Same thing, heads all over the place today. I'm full of hay fever because the spring has sprung. 
All right, so we're gonna tag PG. I ain't finna read that. Um, Matilda Gothica, Jim's books reading and stuff. Uh, he's recently been doing his uh, alphabet tags, going through the uh, alphabet, which is very cool. Uh, Mindy's book journey. Big hard books and classics, Al, although I feel like he's probably already done it. Attention, he's probably already done it. Um, shout out to Hoppy Pumpkin Dance, even though uh, they don't have a channel, but shout out anyway. Say Kevy, that'd be a good one. Kevy, please do this in full drag, but in your most summery outfit, uh, even though it's spring. Your most springy outfit. Spinelli Speaks, uh, Charles Heathcote, I'll do two more. We'll do Jeremy Fee, and we'll do Joel Swagman. So there we have it, that's what I made of the Spring has Sprung tag. As always, don't forget to let me know what you thought of this tag and my answers in the comments. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit that subscribe button for more, and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Zikinzy-poo.